Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. Let me just see if I can find myself on the uh, computer here. Let's see once. I know I'm just a, a second or two. There we go. Second too early. And let me see if I can get, um, oops. There we are. I'm going to enlarge that screen. There we go. Hey, Julie, good to see you this morning. Let us know what state you're coming from. Hey, Peggy, I haven't seen you for so long. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's so nice to see ladies popping on. We have, um, oh my goodness, it's such a busy day here at our house. We, I bet we have 20 people uh, working either inside, patching up drywall or something. And then outside we have, hey, Bonnie and Kathy. Oh, Stacy, good to see you. Thank you for sharing. You're so good about that every week. I, I appreciate the, the followings, the thumbs up, the hearts, the shares, and the purchases, of course. Kathy, you're doing well in Colorado, and Julie, you're from Iowa. Good to see all of you today. I hope it's not going to be too noisy. I, a dump truck of dirt just came for the landscapers right outside my window here, and it's it's sort of loud. Uh, it's loud to me. I can hear it. And they, they must, the landscapers must have about 15 people working today on all the shrubs and flowers and things that they're planting. Hopefully next week we'll get grass. I don't know. It's been pretty muddy here. We do have sidewalks and everything, but um, it is uh, it is a pretty big mess around the house with all this dirt. Anyway, um, so, hey Munch, good to see you from Northern Montana. It's a sunny, well, it's sort of sunny, sort of cloudy day here in Bozeman. Hey Lisa, good to see you this morning too. It's about 60 degrees right now, supposed to get up to about 70. And um, I forgot to tell you, I'm Corinne Braxton. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. And I am happy to be with you today. I have two really neat projects. They're both fun folds. They're both the same design pattern, but different stamps and papers. Hey, Janet, good to see you this morning. Good to see so many of you. I really appreciate that. Um, and and take a second to just go back and, and like, follow all those things later when, you, oh, Min Minnesota, where in Minnesota, Bonnie? I taught school in Owatonna a long time ago. Oh my goodness, Kathy said it's gonna be 91 in Colorado. Wow, that is hot. Um, Anyway, uh, I have some fun things, so let's turn the camera down. Uh, you can tell I'm wearing Misty Moonlight. Both of our projects are going to use Misty Moonlight. So, hey Debbie, where are you from? Good to see you this morning too. So we have a lot of things to talk about. This, this is the last few days of our starter kit. I'll just keep the camera this way so I, you can see me for a minute. I know the words are back backwards. Uh, but when we face down, it won't be. But the starter kit, if you have ever even had an inkling about joining Stamping Up and buying the starter kit, this is the perfect time. I would love to have you on my team. I have demonstrators all over. I have some local in, in Montana, and then I have them on the East Coast, West Coast, in the and in the central part of the United States. So um, I would love to have you. The starter kit is always a great deal. Hey, Carlo, there in Wisconsin. It's $99 and you get to spend, you get to choose, not spend, you spend 99, you get $155 of products that you choose, plus free shipping, free paper pumpkin, free catalogs, that kind of thing. Hey, Vicki from Michigan, good to see so many of you. So don't, if you've ever thought about wanting to be, to get a discount, you don't have to do videos and teach classes. Most people don't, but you can um, earn a discount by, becoming a Stamping Up demonstrator. So the last few days, it ends on Friday the 30th. Don't forget, we also have our designer series paper special. It's a 15% off on almost all of the papers. So the one paper that we're going to be using today, the Countryside Inn, this one, this beautiful blue paper. I have a class coming up on Thursday. And this Countryside Inn, is, it's 15% off also, which is really neat. And then the other one, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the One Horse Open Sleigh 
uh, DSP. So, and um, so designer, that ends on Friday. So this is a good time to stock up. And then one more thing, if you are a demonstrator, you get to pre-order the online exclusives. They look like, we have, we have two bundles and they are both outstanding. We're going to be using this designer paper today. And next week after the 4th of July, I'm going to use this um, Timeless Charm Bundle. So anyway, uh, I would encourage you, if you're a demonstrator, to pre-order. If you're not a demonstrator, you'll be able to order all these online exclusives on ja January, July 6th. So that's just a couple days after the 4th of July. And hope you all have some fun things planned. And uh, we are going to a wedding down at our old ranch in Ennis. So our, our manager's daughter is getting married. We remember when she was born. We're, and we're never going to her wedding on Saturday. That's the only thing we have planned. This afternoon, I have a doctor's appointment. And I finally get to see the orthopedist about my leg. And so that should be interesting. So that's what's happening. Hey, Ann, good to see you this morning. I'm going to turn the camera down. So close your eyes. Here we go. Oops, a daisy really almost tipped over my tripod. Let's see what's now. I'm not going to be able to see the comments as well. I'm not even evil. There we go. There we go. And here we have some cards that um, got things sort of piled up here next to me. Oh, let's see once I've got a light going on here, too. So, well, that's all right. We'll just leave that for now. Um, here's my host code for a few more days for June. If you're shopping with me, I always appreciate you using the host code. These are some cards that are coming up in my Thursday class. I'm using the Countryside Inn stamps and dies. And we're doing five projects, plus the one I'm, the one I'm showing you today is also in the class. It's really a great set. I think I have one more opening in person, and I can take one more online uh, to ship. Okay, that's so that's that. And we are going to be using today, uh, we're going to be using the Regal Reindeer. That's on page 42. We're just using the, the greetings for, from that. And then we're also using, um, on the first one, the first stamp we're going to be using, one of my favorites, the Bold Bouquet Bundle. I love the font. I love the sentiments and I love the fonts of these. And so I've, I've used this quite a bit. It's sort of my go-to birthday set. So that's on page 99. Those are my, the two stamp sets that we're going to be using today. So let me pick up these things and set those aside. And we're going to bring in our first card. I will show you this. I learned this. I've made this before in a class, not this one, but a, this this fun fold design a couple of years ago in our old house. I remember it. It was really fun. And then I saw a video of Rhonda Wade, who is my business mentor. Uh, I saw a video of hers and she sort of re-sparked my interest in this fun fold. It, it's pretty plain on the front. It opens up like this and then like that. It's just, and it's not hard. Close, it uses a lot of designer paper and this designer paper is still available at 15% off. So that's what we're going to be making. Um, I'm gonna set that right there and I'm gonna bring in my Simply Score tool and my paper cutter. Um, I'm hoping that truck is leaving, but it sounds like he's dumping dirt. Uh, let's see one's here. We're, this, this fun fold takes an entire sheet of paper. I'm just going to make sure that this is turned on as loud as it goes. There we go. Uh, it takes an entire sheet of paper. So it's a little bit more of an expensive card. And the first thing you're going to do is, let me get this out, and I will show you the directions for the cutting. Here, I'm just gonna set that right there. If you wanna take a screenshot of that. It's an eight and a half by 11. 
And then I am going to use, I always like to use the, the wider tip of my stylus. I'm going to score it at five and a half, just like that. Then I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm going to score it in two more places, two and one eighth and six and three eighths. Here's two and one eighth, six and three fourths. I love the simply scored because it's so easy to figure out where the three eighths is. Plus we have these markers too. I love those. Um, okay, so that's all it is. One whole sheet of paper. And I'm gonna set that back here. And now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to take my paper trimmer and let's see what's here. If we can, you can all see this okay. Hey, let me see once. Gertie, good to see you this morning. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up. I'm going to get my thing fixed. Now my bottle of water fell on the floor. I hope the cap is on nice and tight. Um, I'm going to take my, I'm just going to cut up on two of these score lines. So I'm just lining it, lining that score line up. And then I'm going to take, get my scoring blade out of the way. Here's my cutting. I'm going to put it right at that five and a half. I'm just going to score up like that. Then I'm going to move my paper over to the other score mark, get it lined up in both places. I'm going to start, doesn't make any difference. You start in the middle, but I like to start in the middle. It doesn't make any difference though. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that aside and we're gonna fold everything up. Now, what I want to do is I'm gonna cut off two flaps. I'm gonna just take my paper snips and I'm going to just cut right by that line. I mean, there's one piece, I saved that for something to punch or use for flowers. We're going to do the other side the same way, just right by that score line. And it just pops out just like that. And then we're gonna fold it up and over. And that is just going to be great the way that works out. And now we're just going to decorate. Now. This one I did pretty well, but sometimes you have to, here's another, here's another one. Sometimes you have to sort of, if it, if it needs to be trimmed a little bit because it's not folding properly, you can just go in there and slice off a, like a little sliver and it'll fold a little better, but that one's pretty good. Okay, so those are the measurements. Hey, Jean, good to see you this morning. Oh, there's lots of people on this morning. That always makes me happy. I'm happy when you share it, like, all those things. Let's bring out the other pieces now. Okay, let's see once I've got a lot here in my envelope. And we're going to do our, I think we're going to do our stamping first. Got, got a ribbon. Got some things. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Well, I think we're just going to, actually, I think we're just going to put these pieces on first. We're going to take our designer series paper for the front, and it's three and three fourths by five. And this is really a cool, um, this embossing folder called Countryside Blossoms is on low inventory right now, as is the, the stamp set with the countryside. But you can, you can actually take this designer paper and you can line it up and you can emboss it. I'm not going to do that today, but you can just, it lines up perfectly like that with the stems and the flower, just like that. And you can run it through. I've done that on a few of my cards, but you ha it, it takes, you have to be really careful because it takes a lot of paper. You have to get it just, just right. But it, it's a beautiful look. So this is going to go on the front. I don't know where, where that just went. Oh, here it is. This is the DSP for the front, three and three fourths. Then we need four strips that are going to be for the sides, both the inside and the outside sides. These are one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. And I've cut four right there. They can be all the same or they can be different like that. And then there, that's just about all we need. We need some ribbon. I'm gonna do that and we're gonna do some punching. So let's see, I'm gonna have, um, oh, I forgot the navy mat. This is going to be 
This is going to be a basic four by five and a fourth, and then it's going to go under here like that. Let's just go ahead and do that right away. And then we'll move that. So I don't know if you want to take a screenshot real fast of that. I will have all these directions typed up. I already have them typed up and I'll add it to the video after um, I go back and put it on YouTube and, and get it, put the directions on the Facebook Live. Okay, so we're gonna take those off and go on with our project. I'll tell you what I love. I've made more cards with this design, this type, and um, you can't, it's so much fun, you can't stop making them. So we're gonna put a little adhesive on the DSP. We're gonna add that to the navy blue. Put it right here. I always like it when you're all talking amongst yourself. Hey, Lynette, good to see you this morning. Now, before I put this on the front, I want to um, add my ribbon. So I'm gonna put it on like this, and I'm just going to, um, you could tie it all the way around that waist ribbon. I'm just going to put it on like this and then scotch tape it. So I like to use, this is my favorite way of adding ribbon without getting a bulk, bulky knot or anything. So I'm just gonna put it on like that. You can use your adhesive too. It doesn't You don't have to use scotch tape, but I like to keep scotch tape handy. Okay, and now we're just gonna put that on the front like that, and that's how we're gonna decorate our card. And it's a pretty, pretty designer paper for sure. Um, at the class that I have on Thursday, people get a half pack of designer paper, a whole roll of ribbon, this boho blue ribbon, and a half a package of gems. So it's quite a good deal. Now we're gonna leave that. And now we're gonna add the, the strips um, to the sides. We're gonna use, um, I think we're gonna use the bunny paper right there. I think that's cute. Let's see once if this, just make it, it doesn't leave, there's no matching pattern there. So sometimes there is like on a stripe or a, um, I think I may be at the end of my uh, adhesive. So when you, that happens, just take, pop it out, throw it away. And I always like to get that little goo, that little gummy thing away. I take that off with my fingers and then I drop in another adhesive. I just put it in like this. Just, I love this adhesive. It's wonderful. I use this one and I use the plus too, but I use this one the most, but it's personal preference, of course. Okay, here, now that should, I sort of wrinkled the paper there when I got to the end of that. Okay, so we've got bunnies on this side. And let's see what's on the back of that. Oh, I just love that pattern that we're going to use I have made a lot of cards using this designer paper. We were able to pre-order it. Now I'm gonna add this to the inside. Uh, we were able to pre-order this set um, as demonstration. That's one of the biggest advantages, getting to pre-order things. And uh, I made a lot of swap cards using this paper and this set of dice. Now here I wanna see if I can, that's not right. Let's see if this one, oh, there, there it is, see how it, it matches. If you all did any sewing, you know about matching plaids and stripes. I still like to do that with my paper. I, have, I don't really sew anymore. I used to sew every day, just like I make cards every day, but um, not anymore. And it's, it's really, it's too bad. Let's see once now I need a white, I need a white uh, piece of card stock. Let's see if I have one here. Oh, here's, nope, I don't, I have envelopes here. Oh, let me see what's here, if I can find something. I always keep a stack right there, but I don't have one. So let's see what's here, if I can find, oh, here's one. I'll use this one from a, one of my kits. Okay, we're gonna put that on like that. This card is easy. There we go. And that is the basis of the whole thing. Now we're gonna do some stamping. 
and we're going to punch a little bit and uh, let's see once so we're going to bring I'm going to set that aside and we're going to bring in a circle we're going to do the stamp can't get these apart there we go the stamp set that we're using is a bold bouquet and it's just I just love the font I love the I haven't made anything with the flowers yet but I plan to and because um, it has really nice dyes to go with it but that's what we're using and let's get our uh, piercing mat this is anytime you're using photopolymer and these are photopolymer stamps so I like to I like to add that cushion because we don't photopolymer see-through stamps you you have no cushion there on the second uh, card that we make we're going to be using the red rubber and then you don't need the piercing mat so here is our stamp and we're going to do thanks for blessing my life I think that's such a pretty sentiment. We'll just do it. I'm going to do two of them. There we go. And then on the inside, we're going to, I'm just going to set that right there, pick those up. On the inside of our card, we're going to put a little flower on the bottom. You could do an envelope this way. You could do that also. And then we're going to say, um, thinking of you and caring. Let's see, we'll get that away from the ink. Just like this. Thinking of you, caring about you, wishing you strength and peace. I just, I made a lot of sympathy cards this weekend and I use this a lot because I think it's just a, a good sentiment. I needed, I needed a lot of sympathy cards. I never have any when I need them, so I, did, I made a bunch. So that's that, okay? And just like that. Now we could put this aside. And we're going to add our, I've got a two inch circle punch. And here is my, uh, it, it's uh, Misty Moonlight ink, but it looks like it's navy almost, but it'll dry a little lighter. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to put this on. on and I like to just sort it off set it off to this side there we go and now I'm going to be adding my this but I want to add, make sure I just add a few dimensionals sort of in the middle because I want to stick I'm going to use up that little bit right there um, I want to use I want to attach some some group some foliage to this just to make it look nice. We can do that like that. So I kept it away from the edges. So now let's bring in some of our, our punch. And I love this punch, the bow punch. A few weeks ago, I did a, a video using this, the stamp that goes with it, the one that was designed by Rachel Tessman. I think it's such a great set. Um, now we're going to I have some glit glitter paper in the navy. We don't need this anymore. And I have some luster paper. Do you see the shine on this? Oh my goodness, it's just pretty neat. So I'm gonna stamp, I'm gonna punch a little bit. Let's see, and we'll, we're gonna arrange some things. I didn't use, the, yeah, maybe I did use this. I think I used card, but I didn't know. I'm gonna, let's see, I better do this one upside down because I don't think I can get both out. I'll do the big one. And then I can do the little one too, like that. There we go, that should do it. That punch is, um, it's been in the catalog last year too. It's really a good one. If you, uh, if you, if you buy anything, this is one of the best things to buy. I would definitely get the, the stamp to go with it now that it's available also. Okay, let's put this together. We're just going to add in some of this foliage. It's just going to get tucked in there like this. So I'm going to just, I'm actually going to cut these stems just a little bit because I have that adhesive on. 
and I'm going to put some, I'm just going to put some adhesive on the bottoms. I want the, I want that foliage to be sort of loose. So now it's going to, I'm just going to put it in there like that. This one has, it's sticky. Just stick, tuck it in there like that. And then I'm going to put on the back of these, these are this, the lot, the, Boho Blue Luster, I think it's called. It's always, but on the, the glitter side, that's white. I think I'll just add a little white one right there. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. I don't know. I think I like the glitter better. I think we'll do that. We'll add the glitter to that. Just putting a little adhesive. You could use glue dots. So you could use your Tombow. I'm just doing this sort of quickly. There we go. And we'll put that one aside for another project and I think we're all done except for our gem. Let's see once if I don't have any of those gems handy. Wait a second. I have a whole package right here. Actually, I have three packages that I've opened and uh, we're going to use, um, I think we can Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to use the medium one, the medium boho blue, right there. And then our card is finished. Let's check it out once and see. Thanks for blessing my life, thinking of you, caring about you, like that. Isn't that nice? Nice card, just like the first one. Um, looks like it's a little crooked. I might have to take that off later. Okay, let's put that aside. And um, now we're going to do the, I'm going to show you a sneak peek. You cannot buy this yet. It is um, called One Horse Open Sleigh. And mine just came, I didn't, when I made my samples, I didn't have the stamp. I had the dies. They made a mistake in my order and I didn't get the, the stamp. So I used Regal Reindeer, which I had from last year and it's still in the catalog. I love the Peace on Earth, Merry Christmas. I love the sentiments and the font of these. So this is still, that's what we're going to use today. This one also has, has dyes to go with the reindeer and the trees. So that's a good one from last year. It didn't get a lot of attention last year because there were so many things in the catalog, so I was glad that carried over. So this one is going to be available on July 6th. And also these snowflakes, they come in three sizes, large, medium, and small, three colors, copper, gold, and white. We're gonna use those today on our card. And this is the, kind of one of the most magnificent papers. I think you're, mine's really cut up, but Anyway, you, you, you're going to see this here, and uh, it's really cool. It has these great designs. You get four sheets of each design. So you have this one with that. I think I'll put it down like this, and you can, this scene, this could be, it could be snow, like snowy scene right there, and a wood bark there. I love this one with the pool party and the lost lagoon. It's got a little touch of red right there. And there's the same one that I showed you first. It sort of gets mixed up. Oh. Here's another one with a little Bambi in it or a little deer in the middle, like that, green. Here's one with the fox. I think this paper is going to sell out in the first few days. It is so beautiful, everyone's going to want it. This is the one we're gonna work with today. And on the back of it, it is this green color. Here's another snowy one. And on the back is trees. Look at this one, pretty. This would be a nice one to go um, on our card too, I think, but I didn't cut that one. That one has sort of a lost lagoon, I think, or pool party, I'm not sure. Like this one too, sort of a winter scape. Red on the other side. And this one I think is just, I love this paper. And it's got a little bit of a lighter red. And this one, I demonstrators can order up to, you can get two packs, plus if you buy the whole suite, you get an extra pack. So you can get three right now, but 
and I would definitely, because people, this is going to sell out, and then I don't know if it'll come back or not. Um, it's, I'll show you some papers before we start making our next card. I'll show you a couple things I've already made with it. I couldn't stop. Here's, I got an idea uh, from Lisa Freeman. She's a demonstrator. I don't know where she lives, actually. Um, I've never met her, but I like her videos. And she, I love this grassy grove silhouette die. I thought that was perfect for those get well. And I had some those laying around. Um, this one, I, let's see once. I did this one. This is the, actually the first one I did. Peace on Earth with that scene with the three little snowflakes. The snowy scene like that. Isn't that cool? And let's see. So that's one. Here's another one I did. Merry Christmas. I like I like just something pretty plain like Merry Christmas. I don't like to say season's greetings, but there there it is on the inside of that one. Here's a, this is not, this is a, um, these are fishing cards made with that same pattern, like that. Here's another fishing one. We're gonna do a fishing card in my fishing class, July 13th. We're gonna do one of these, not both, but, um, Let's see, then here is some more, here's another one I did, a uh, fold out like this pull out panel. And these are really easy. So that paper is so pretty. Here's another one. Like this one I made a mistake on, so. Anyway, those are our cards. And we're going to make a different one this morning with the same pattern. So you're going to help me out a little bit on this. Um, let me see, put that away, and we're going to get our pieces out. I already have um, it all cut and scored, so you don't have to see that again. You can always go back to the beginning. So this is our base by 8.5 by 11. Takes a whole sheet of paper, scored at 5.5, and, and then at 2 and a eighth, you can just turn it and do the other side at 2 and eighth or 6 and 3 eighths. Trimming the two sides like this, and there is our card. Now, what I want you to decide is <clears throat> we are going to either use, we're going to use this designer paper. It's the one with the, the glowing lead, the glowing lights. And do you like it with the red? Or do you like, so it's going to go on espresso like that. It's sort of a misty moonlight color in here. That's the red, real red. Or do you like it with the lemon lolly? The lemon lolly picks up the yellow lights, the, the lemon lolly lights. The red picks up the red door. So what do you think? Let's see about what you'd like to do. And let's just say red or yellow. That's all you have to say. Um, how many of you already have this paper? So let's see if you can... Um, the front again is going to be three and three fourths by five. The either the red or the yellow mat is four by five and a fourth. I've got some um, side pieces and an inside. Bring all these things out, and we are going to uh, stamp. So while you're you're saying red lemon, look, oh let's see, this is going to be tricky. We've got. I'm going to just sort of see if I can, uh, lemon lull, I'm going to start, okay, yellow, le yellow, red, lemon lolly, hey Simone, good to see you, red over here, four lemons, five, three reds, five lemons, lemons have it so far, but let's, let's see what you decide, um, I think we're going to get, we're going to put the red right there, and we're going to put the lemon lolly on like that, and it's going to go on there. I think either one is really nice. Okay, I'll move that out of the way. There's our yellow lemon lolly. It's sort of a fun word to say, lemon lolly, that alliteration. Now, we, I don't know if I, I don't think I have a ribbon plan for this one. Hmm. No, I don't think I do. Or do I? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. I have three, cho and I have choices for you here. That's what. Um, 
I'm gonna dump out everything from my envelope, more of the little pieces. Okay, so we have, since we're using lemon lolly, I think we're, we could use the lemon lolly ribbon. This is a misty moonlight ribbon. That's sort of cool too, isn't it? And then this is the navy or denim. I'm not sure what it's called. It's from last year and we still have it in the catalog. So this is neat. Oh, it looks pretty nice on the snow too. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this comes in a, I think maybe we'll try this one. Okay. And um, I'm going to just tack it just like I did before. I'm going to wrap it around down here and add some scotch tape. Just going to keep it low enough. It's, there we go. Put it like that. Oh, I'm glad that dump truck moved. He must be going to get another load of dirt for the yard. Okay, so look at that. That looks pretty nice, I think. And it's just a little different pop. And now let's add some adhesive. There we go. And we're going to put this on our base. Like that. Okay. And now we can decorate our sides. I've cut some, um, well, I, what, I thought this was sort of cool. This, um, this red color sort of mimics the door. Um, so I didn't want to cut up more of my paper. So I went to my stash of specialty papers and this one is called In Color Two, uh, so it's 2022 20, to 24 textured specialty. And it, it has uh, the in colors like Orchid Oasis, Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet, oh, and um, Tahitian Tide. But I thought this red was perfect. So I cut some of that is where I got that. I, I really like the specialty papers and it's hard to sort of see them until you actually get them. So these are the pieces that um, I cut, I have four strips at um, one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. So I'm gonna put those right there, or we could put the red right there. Doesn't make any difference. Let's see, I am going to put something on the side. I'm gonna put this on the inside. So let me see it, I don't know what, that was just an extra piece. So um, I'm gonna actually do that. Let's. Then I think we can put that on there. It will do the red on the outside. Okay, we're gonna watch me as I do this. So this is, I don't even know what this measurement is. It was a scrap after I cut off some of the others. So this is the kind of paper you wanna just use up every little bit you have. So I'm gonna just put it right bit by the edge. And then I'm going to put, um, I cut a white piece. This is sort of an off size, three and a half by five, but it gives, it shows that little design right there, that map. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do um, is put it on like this. Okay, you can take that one off. And now we'll put our, we're gonna put our, we're gonna put these right there okay and oops i've got a lot of things sticking here so there we go on that oh i hear that big truck coming back with another load of dirt oh dear um it's been a busy place today we have uh, people touching up things landscapers the grandkids came over um i had i couldn't talk to them very long because i was getting ready to do the video so they're going to come back tomorrow. Um, we're going to do that. Okay, so our grandkids just live down the road. I mean, a hill, actually. So this is going to go right there. And so um, they tend to come over quite a bit now that they're so close. I mean, it's really sort of neat. Um, I'm not always home, but they're good about ringing the doorbell and just opening the door and calling Grandma. Here we go. And there's that red, that touch of red. And this is, our card is gonna be almost finished. There we go. And 
I don't know, like there, I don't, there's the outside. There we go with this, like that. And you can see just a little, it's a little lighter than I probably should have used. I had a red piece, an extra, that would have been pretty too. But it doesn't make any difference. We're gonna finish it just like it is. And now we're going to do a little bit of stamping on a piece of a stitch tag right here. So we'll do that. And we are going to do, um, we're gonna use Misty Moonlight and we're going to, um, I think I'll do one that is Peace, uh, Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas on one. And Peace on Earth on the other one. Okay, good. Both of them are straight. That's nice. That's sometimes you don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to set that aside right there. And then we're going to do the inside of our, our card with this um, sentiment. Wishing you a wonderful season. Oop, that one's going downhill. Well, I should have, um, you know what I should have done is um, I can take another piece of white that I have right here. So it's going downhill. I'm going to, I'm going to change it. I, I'm going to try to be a little more careful too. Okay, it's going downhill. So we're going to, we're going to put it like this a little bit. We're going to, let's try this one more time. There we go, perfect. It wasn't crooked at all. I was just making it crooked. Um, and then we're gonna put a Christmas, some Christmas trees. That's part of that regal reindeer set. And it's gonna stamp that right on the bottom. A little bit off the edge there. And now what I'm going to do is no one's even going to know, but I'm just gonna cover up the other one. I'm just gonna put some adhesive on it. We could take off the other one, of course. But we're just gonna do this. No one will even know, except for all of you out there. There we go. And now our card is almost finished, except for the snowflakes and the front little sentiment. Um, we could do peace on earth, or Merry Christmas. I think we're gonna do Merry Christmas. I'm gonna pop that up. I want those dimensionals to be sort of on the other side of the ribbon. I'm going to actually cut these little pieces right here. I'm gonna cut a couple of those. Use up every bit of your, your I'm gonna actually put them just like this on each side of the, of the ribbon. that because then it won't it'll just it'll lie perfectly flat take your pick tool get those out of the way and then we can put our sentiment right there and the ribbon it'll be nice and flat it won't be bulky there we go and now we can add some of these pretty, pretty stars. They come, you get two sheets. You get, um, how many, 90 all together. So I think we're gonna use the gold ones this time. And I think we'll put one, we'll put, whoops, we'll put a big one. Maybe right there. And then a medium one, that's pretty big. Another one right there. And a tiny, uh, gold one right down, right there. Okay, and there is our card. Can you hear the truck? He's now he's dumping the uh, dirt. He probably did not know that I was doing a video today. There we, there's our card. And there's the other part of it. So it didn't take very long to do two of these fun folds. So these are the three from this set of designer paper. Do you like the lemon lolly or do you think the red would have been better? Probably should do one of each. 
um, there we go. Now, those are our cards for today. I hope you'll, I will have all the directions um, typed up. They're already done. I'll just post those after a while. Close your eyes. I'm going to flip the camera. Bring it down. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it all. It's really fun, Mary Ellen. Yes, it is beautiful designer paper. Those of you who are demonstrators, I would definitely buy it now. Don't wait until um, next week uh, because it will sell. They're already telling us it's going to sell out. And the other thing that they're saying is going to sell out really quickly too, besides this um, one horse open sleigh, um, we, have, we have not seen it yet. We just had a little peek of it and I'll show you that peak. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Oh, no, I don't have a peak of it. Um, it's a little truck punch with a truck stamp, and they just showed us a corner of it, um, we, and it's coming, uh, but and it can be ordered July 6th. So that's something, too. Don't wait until July 8th. Get it the first day that it's available if you like it. Oh, I'm so glad you love those, Martina. Um, yeah, that truck set, Carla, is beautiful. Um, I saw it, I did a virtual event this past weekend. Um, oh, Linda, good for you. You already have two packs of this. Yes, you're going to be very happy you do because it's great paper and you're going to want more of it. It's sort of like that on the Horizons paper we had about a year ago or a year and a half ago. Um, it was great and it just went like wildfire. You know, it was so such a popular paper. Um, all these scenery ones, and I love the six by six format. You can do a lot with it. So uh, let's see what else we had. Any other questions? Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you all like these. Good. Yeah, I will go back and read all your comments later, and um, and I'll post this on YouTube. And you can remember to share, to like. Um, Anyway, I thank you for joining us today. Next week, uh, Tuesday, my normal Facebook Live time is, uh, hey Donna, good to see you this morning. Um, it's 4th of July, so that's Tuesday, 4th of July. And Teresa, I'm so glad you love the cards. Um, I'm going to do my video on Wednesday. So next Wednesday, July 5th, and probably at the same time. I'm not positive. A lot of it depends on if I have a doctor's appointment or not. But I will let you know. I'll post it on my Crafting Creations by Corinne site too. So thank you so much. I hope I hope that, I hope I, the doctors have a little bit of help for my leg. Um, I've been doing something called Neuralink. That's been rather interesting with the nervous system with the chiropractor, and that's really been sort of helpful. And I've also been going to a Chinese foot and leg massage place. It's just a Chinese massage place a building. And they've been, boy, they can really dig in and work those muscles. So that's been good. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, I'm so glad there were so many of you watching today. And you can always go back and watch the replay. And I hope you'll make one of these cards, these fun folds. They're really fun. Alrighty, I'll see you next Wednesday, July 5th. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Safe 4th of July. Bye now. Bye.